Hi everybody, this is Kiri and D'Artagnan Lavelle. And What's up guys? are live at The Sims 4 again. We are working on the storylines um, for everybody, I guess. And... Everybody. Everybody. And so now we are still in Windenburg. We just, our last episode, we looked at the Munch family. And now we are going to look at the Free Spirits household. And before we even start, we're going to apologize for murdering their names. Because we haven't looked up. If anybody knows how to, how to actually pronounce these names, um, that would be very helpful to us. Yes, it really would. It really, really would. Have great names. They do. I really like the way they're spelled. Um, Cause I know what it's like to have a crazy name and nobody knows how to say it or spell it or. Same. Same. All right. So we have. It's either Ulrich or Ulrichy. I'm wondering. I think it's the second one most. But her last name is Faust, which we can say. So she is Miss Faust. And this is Miss Haas. And I am not even going to try that first name. So Miss Haas and Miss Faust of the Free Spirits household. Um, I'm excited about these characters. Okay. So this is... Ulrike, I think. And she looks very both rocker and you know, kind of polished and preppy almost. Preppy, like a preppy goth person almost. Yeah, yeah. And with her traits, she oh. is, what is she? You um, gotta do this mouse thing. Okay. She is a uh, art lover, perfectionist, and creative. And then what's her... Uh, her what's aspiration, her aspiration yeah. is to be a painter extraordinaire. Okay. And so, when I, when I look at The Sims, the most important thing to me is their aspiration. Hmm. Right? It's right. like the most I important mean, thing. It's an odd thing because the aspirations are so interchangeable. When you're playing the game, uh, most of the time you don't just stick with one. So, I mean, these aspirations, it's going to be hard for me to just use one aspiration for one sim. Um, so, that's odd to me that you said that. Well, it's not odd to me that you said it because you've never played the game before now. What you talking about, Willis? Um, I don't know. They just, they're the most, they're the least permanent thing about a sim. Their aspiration. I don't know, because I felt like that's their dream. Like that's their... It's their dream, yeah. But, like, you can just go and change it whenever you want. I think, it, I think for story purposes, though, I think that that's... Oh, definitely. For story purposes, um, yes. I want that to be. I'm just saying that it's weird that you said that about just regular gameplay, not I'm, just the save. I mean, it's not Penny Pizzazz. I'm not just super simming everybody. <laughs> I, I, I know what true. you mean, because that's, that's how I play with like The Sims, just so I can get used to the game. That's how I played on the Xbox. Right. Um, I mentioned there's so much, so many of these that I didn't know about. So like making my sim over here versus on base game, it took me twice as long. So I'm like, well, now which one? Do I do? It's like I like that one, but then I also like this one, and it's new, and I don't know what it does. Right. Exactly. And I feel like that's how most people play. So this might be interesting to people to learn that Miss Faust actually wants to be a painter. Um, that's what she's given in game. And actually um, her traits work towards that. And if you read the bio, 
um, points towards that, which I never read the bios either. So all this is very cool. I like it. All right. So where are we at? So uh, did we go through her, all of her outfits yet? No. Okay. So this is, I like this dress. Yeah, I do too. I think it fits her personality. It does. And it's very um, sophisticated. And then we go less sophisticated, which I like this sim. She's very interesting and not set at all. She she has a lot of different interests, it looks like. Uh, yeah. A lot of different interests. All right. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that one. And look at these um, pantyhose, even. I yeah. mean... She's definitely confident. Yeah. I think she's going to be a very bold storyline. Yeah, definitely. I love this dress. I like that dress. Yeah, see, I didn't... That's, there's so much... Is this... No, that's not base game. Oh, well... It is base game. Um, even in the base game, you have these outfits. Um, so. Sweet. Yeah. And this one is actually from the uh, one of the kits, which is interesting. It seems like their outdoor weather outfits aren't set, which is fine. That's fine. We're still going with it. Yeah. Alright, so. Huh. So, um, Her likes and. Her likes and dislikes right yep. now are. She likes, she likes black. black and purple, obviously. That's self explanatory. Yes, let's put her back in her regular outfit. Um, and dislikes yellow and pink. She doesn't like bright colors, and pink is very childish. Alternative music and focus music. And dislikes tween pop music and winter holiday music. Those are too happy. And she likes polished fashion and rocker fashion. And she dislikes boho fashion and preppy fashion. Yeah. So I think that fits her personality. I do too. Definitely. Likes bowling and likes painting. And dislikes cooking and singing. Um, she's not all for that domestic lifestyle. She's not going to be anybody's uh, wifey, I guess you'd say. And then decor is contemporary and modern. What do you type in? Oh, toast. Type in toast. Oh. Toast is in the chat. What's up, Toast? What's up, Toast? Uh, so she likes boho decor and suburban contemporary decor. I think that's, like we said, that's not sophisticated enough. She likes very sophisticated things. She's going to be known for having the best of everything, I think. She, I mean, she's going to paint... Painting makes a lot of money in a sense. Toast said this girl is awesome, except she can't cook. Right. <laughs> yeah. She's a 10, but she can't cook. So, her sexual orientation. She is bisexual. She's both romantically and physically interested in men and women and she's not exploring that option she's never going to settle down and choose one she's always going to be interested in both <laughs> so was, hates teeny bop music and christmas carols sign me up and she's by what lol <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude she uh She's cool. Actually, I have a little, uh, I forgot to do the bio again. So I have a little bio one. Let me see. All right, so how do you say her name? I'm guessing Ulrike, but you can just call her Miss Faust. That's her last name. All right, Miss Faust always loved painting, but she had trouble keeping up in class. It's always took Miss Frost longer than everyone else to finish. But it was clear to see her paintings were always better than everyone else's. 
but she just couldn't keep up with the other students. And she came in contact with the other Sim in, uh, her, in her house. What's her name? Roommate. Uh, Mikey? Maybe. Mikey? Mike. Maki? Miss Haas. Miss Haas. <laughs> Miss Haas. Um, and, well, I can't say she came in contact with it. They've been lifelong friends. Mm -hmm. um, and they went their separate ways and tried to do their own thing. But Miss Haas actually just inherited a. Um, I don't think. A oh, no, no, no. Actually, we're changing this storyline. Actually, so we don't. Because there's already one in this map that have that, the two girls. Somebody, yeah. Yeah, so yes. we're actually changing this storyline. So right now, all we have for her is she loved painting, and... She, uh, and, Mikey likes writing. Yeah, and she like well, she likes writing, but what I'm, what I'm saying is the artist, Miss Faust, dropped out of uh, art school because she couldn't keep up because she's a perfectionist and it takes her longer to complete stuff, but mm -hmm. it's really good. Right. So that's her backstory. And then the only thing that I have on Miss Haas right now is she was brought up with the finer things in life. Um, and that's about it. Okay. <laughs> So they came into contact, like, so they were best friends as kids. They went separate ways in high school, but now they're realizing they kind of need each other again. Yeah. So they're moving back in with each other. Toast. Miss Haas looks like she's super innocent, but that's her taste. But what's her taste like? I bet she's at least a little kinky. Well, what is her <laughs> sexual orientation? Her, well, she is... Uh, romantically and physically attracted to men and not exploring. Um, but we think that Ms. Faust is actually going to kind of wish that she was exploring. Um, so we'll see where that goes, but I, I don't think she's exploring at this time. She is kind of, she's she might have to come out of her shell a little bit. I think because, so. Because if you look at her outfit, she's very... I mean, I, I really, really love this outfit. Yeah. But um, she is very sophisticated and not at all revealing in any of her outfits. Yeah, she's very conservative. So I think... I think, yeah, Toast, that's... I mean, that's the way we were going with the storyline with yeah. her. So... She has the same look as every woman who's ever asked me to tie her up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean... Well... <laughs> that, I, mean, I mean... That could be stereotyping. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I also believe that you're probably not wrong. <laughs> I kind of think he's not wrong also. Okay. But we're doing Miss Faust right now. And she likes black and purple, hates yellow and pink, likes alternative music and focus music, hates tween pop and winter holiday, likes polished and rocker fashion, dislikes boho fashion and preppy fashion, likes bowling and painting, and hates cooking and singing. I think we did these ones, didn't we? Did we? Yeah. Oh, okay. But... The, do that one when I'm not with her here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> likes contemporary decor and dislikes modern decor. Uh, or likes modern decor and dislikes boho decor and suburban contemporary. Uh -huh. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we did already. And we ones. wanted to do something different with her because the other family was like all arts and stuff. Right. And so we did give her the... She, she likes bowling, so... Yeah. We thought that we could probably work that into some sort of storyline, some sort of lore. Yes. Our own, our own lore, maybe. Alright, so okay. let's check this chick out. So, I kind of, um, I had a vision of her workspace when 
we started looking through her outfits and I really think she likes green and white. She's going to have very light colors, all whites with plants. Very much in her shell. Comfort. Yes. She likes comfort. She likes to be comfortable. Comfort colors, yes. Yeah. That's why she hates black and red. And she likes classical and easy listening music and hates tween pop along with uh, Miss Faust and dislikes metal music also. So, <clears throat> and going along with she likes polished and preppy fashion, dislikes country and outdoorsy fashion. So she's not going outside either, which I don't think, uh, I don't think Miss Faust will go outside much either. She's very sophisticated. They probably like the outdoors for different reasons. I think I think Miss Haas is more scared of it and Miss Fa Miss Faust is like that's just uh dumb. Yeah. <laughs> so uh so for the activities of course she likes writing and she does like cooking, <laughs> which is good because that way this household will be able to eat. And uh, this likes bowling. So Miss Miss Foss likes bowling and she dislikes bowling. So that'll be interesting. Right. Uh, but they're best friends. I think she'll still go with her bowling and probably hate it. Um, and dislikes video gaming. And then she likes mid-century and contemporary <laughs> decor. So I'm really excited to build her her spaces in the house. I think they're gonna look really cool. And um, but she dislikes boho and Cosmo Lux. So I thought, you know, oh. I was gonna go kind of boho with the plants, but she doesn't like that. So. So said she hates video games. Next. <laughs> ah. Well, just because she doesn't like doing it herself doesn't mean that she won't let you play video games. All right, and I think that's it for this household. Is that right? That is actually, yeah. Because we still got to work on some storylines for this one. Yeah, we definitely do. Let's look at their house real quick. Oh yeah, we didn't go over um, we didn't go over the building aspects of it. So what? So I was gonna say what are what's your vision for it? But the way we're, we we want to do it is the money that they have now. They're just gonna start with it, mm -hmm. and they're going to each have to acquire their own money. They're not gonna cheat their money, and right. we're just gonna improve the house they're in and try to make it feel more them and right. just try to make it feel like its own story right this room i guess is supposed to be uh the rocker chick but it really does not suit her i would probably make this a lot darker my plan is to just go along with what they like and dislike of course uh try to fit their personality go by their outfits i try to keep them the same you know we, we've only got this much to work with so by selling things um, hopefully and switching things out we'll be able to do a lot more with because uh, we could base game houses pretty much are ugly no matter what world you're in we could make them all start with zero money rags to riches the whole thing because they already have stuff established so they would all be starting with nothing. I don't like that idea. No? I don't know. I've, I mean, we could, but that, that would might take, take a, too long. And that would really take away my ability to build for them. That is true. Yeah. That is true. And it would really hinder our, your storylines in some ways, too. Yeah, I thought about that, too, with the richer families. Yeah. You only get a million small in you. <laughs> right. Get that Donald Trump daddy loan. <laughs> right. My father only gave me a small loan of a million dollars. But I, I definitely want to work on their landscaping, which I 
No, it's kind of cheating, but you can use debug to make free landscaping, which I might do in, I don't know, depending on how, how much I feel like. Um, <clears throat> building, I don't plan on doing live, I don't think. We might do a few live builds, but I'll probably end up doing most of that through speed builds. Um, just renovating the houses. I don't want to change anything architecturally. I want to leave their houses very recognizable. Uh, but I do want to update. Definitely make them, make them fit them better. Right. A lot better. All right, so I think we can go, yeah, let's save it just because we didn't really change anything, but. The reason that the first S in Sims is capitalized is because it stands for save. Right, always, <laughs> always, always save. Always save. So the next one that we're doing is another name I don't know how to pronounce for sure. Um, well, what's the other families? I don't remember who's. Well, this is the one we started last night. Oh, and yeah, we were going to be next to the yeah. next one in the same neighborhood. But the other families are the Beers, Beard. The. Bjergsen. Bjergsen family? Yeah, I think Bjergsen? that's right. Bjer no, I think it's Bjergsen. Bjergsen family. Um, and then the Villarreal family. They're obviously the rich family. They live on the biggest lot in the best neighborhood. And then the bro household. Interesting. Um, we have the party, party house. Party house. Party house household. Uh, quad manor library. Uh, the bear, bear family. Is that all there is? No, There's seven families in here, I think. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight families. A lot. There's a lot in just one world. Um, so the, I think this is the Fires household, I'm gonna guess. I'm just hitting it like smorgasbord. Hold on, I want this to, I want them to all. <clears throat> Can I be heard very well? Yeah. To have no, I'm good. I don't want to echo. I wasn't there. Oh, okay. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. So they're obviously wealthy. They have $21,000 plus this huge ass house. So they'll be easy to work with with that. Um, let's look at them. Right. Well, let's look at their house first and their skills and stuff because we haven't done anything for this household yet. No, we haven't. What's the family story? Oh. We didn't do that. Hold on. The family story. Oh, we didn't read it. We tis not. Just go to manage worlds. Things couldn't be better between lovebirds Dominique and Moira. Too bad the same can't be said for their daughters. Lovebirds. So that makes me think they're like not married. Are they married? Um... Free Spirit Morgan just wants to have fun with her renegade friends, but Sio Sioban? Sioban can't stand that attitude. Sioban is determined to build a network of popular friends who can help her career aspirations. Will Sioban move out on her own before the tension in the house explodes? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, I don't know. Let's go and see if they're married. Are they married? Are these all biological children or are they stepchildren? I think they're step. 
think, yeah, I, I think that I mean, they're step. I think that these two are newlyweds. Remember, because we were talking about it. Uh, what did they do? They like went on vacation and got married and come home and was like, "Hey, we're gonna move in to a house and like a stepbrothers kind of thing." So right. this is like this is literally stepbrothers. Right. Okay, so I would say this is her biological daughter and this is his biological daughter. Siobhan is his biological. And so this is Dominique. We need to learn all their names. I keep forgetting. I'm just used to like, okay, red hair, black hair. Yeah. Okay, so this is Dominique. And his skills are DJ mixing, dancing, and fishing. DJ mixing. That's interesting. What's his job? His job is uh, opening act. He's an entertainer. Level four. Nice. Nice. Okay, so. Looks like he needs some comedy and guitar, guitar skill in there. Yeah. Um. But. It's just gonna have to be built, I guess, because he doesn't have any. Interesting. Neat, self-assured, and music lover. This one's a. Um, this one's an aspiration trait. The muser trait. So the muser gets better boost to their skills when they're inspired. Okay. So we need some inspirational decor. Is what we need. He aspires to be a musical genius. Hmm. Which means he's going to be uh, practicing musical instruments, listening to music. Uh, looks like he's going to have to write some songs. So that'll be fun. Yeah. That's a cool aspiration. Yeah. Okay, let me... Well, let's look at this stuff. He's, it's like he's doing his career backwards. Right. He started off as a DJ, but he's trying to get accredited as a famous author. I mean... But she got her last name changed also. So they must have a dog. I don't know. They could be. I think they're. I think the the lore video I watched did say that they were adopted daughters. Okay. So, did they get married and adopt both of them? No, I think he adopted her daughter and she adopted his daughter. Oh. I think that's how I would. I guess I so. Mean, yeah. If you just go by how they look, unless they just adopted to look. What are their ages? He is an adult. Oh, uh, the the girls. She's a young adult, and then Morgan is a teen. Oh, Siobhan okay. Siobhan is a young adult. Okay, so I can see that as like, okay, younger daughter, two, or and the older daughter was like, no, nah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. What do you mean? Isn't she is she negative? What's her what's her moods? Negative. Like what's her uh, traits and stuff? Her traits are ambitious, insider, and self-assured. Oh no, so she's not. Okay. I was thinking of the uh, Miss Foss. Oh.
Okay. Sorry about that. But I'll go over a couple things and see what we're doing. Vicious. Insider self-assured. Alright. I think we were actually... There we go. And then she's outgoing good. What is this? Gregorious? Gre Gregarious. Gregarious. Santa's build friendly relationships faster. So wait, they both... So they both build friends faster. Okay. So maybe they would have their own clubs because... Is she in a club? Yeah, she's in Renegades. And she's in... Okay, so they could have like a rival club. Oh, that's that's cool. cool. That is cool. And then Spin Master, the good timers, Garden Gnomes. Interesting. So they're all in clubs. That's cool. Huh. I wonder if other Sims are in their clubs. Yeah, because they don't have no. That's why we're doing their emotions, because they should know who's in their clubs and stuff. Right. Let's see. We can look at their clubs here. Oh look, these all of these sims are in her club. Okay, so, so that makes it easier for the storytelling and and knowing who to be friends with. Oh, oh look, she's look, in her club. They're in each other's club. That's so cool. So we'll have to. Um, oh, and so is Wolfgang. Oh, neat. And they all know each other that way. That's good. Sweet. I like that. So I wonder what this this kid is like and why he's in the club even though he's just a child. That's interesting. He must be a really cool kid to be in this club. Must be. He's a renegade. Right. Alright, let's uh let's get back on track with what we were doing. <laughs> I right, think so we're, we're on start... track. We're we're just talking about this family because we don't have we don't know anything about them, so... That's true. We have not been off track. So what do we need to do? Oh, we need, we need to, to go, go into CAS. And look at the father. And, and the mother. look at everybody, and yeah. I need to put all of their information in, in our spreadsheet so that we can keep it all straight. It and it looks like we need to add a, a clubs column to the Windenburg sheet, at least. Yeah. But I think clubs are available to everybody, so it could be like... Right, but they're not going to be in clubs because it's not part of their pack. That makes sense. So only those Sims and Windenburg are already going to be in clubs. But we can add people to clubs and make clubs as we play the game. So we could just only use the clubs out of Windenburg because they were... And no, we'll be able to add them, but what I'm saying is for the information that we're gathering... Only the Windenburg. Okay, that'll work. For now. For now. For now. It's an evolving process. It is. This spreadsheet will be evolving as much as our game is. Nobody, nobody can see what I'm doing over here, but yeah, we're running. It's, uh, it's very interesting, I'll tell you that. No, it's not. <laughs> Whoops. It's um, it's interesting though to compile the information and think about. I need to make storylines for all of these people uh, with very little information. Ah. Uh, But I'm excited about it. I'm excited to see what you do. Because a lot of it's coming together. I mean, a lot of it just... It's, it's already placed out in front of you, but what direction... I want to try to take it as as close to what I think would happen. Or should happen. Or is supposed to happen. Where where you could go well, with a storyline for their families. Right. I want to... Yeah, we want to incorporate as much of their preset selves into their future selves as possible but they're still going to evolve 
I think. I think that would be interesting to see what they would do. All right, so Dominique, let me start at the beginning. We are looking at these two, oh. obviously married with two daughters. So I think as far as like sexual orientation and all of that, he's probably not exploring anymore. He's an adult. He's neat. Music lover. And self assured. I forgot what his career was already. <laughs> so, his sexual orientation. Oh, he's an entertainer. Oh, yeah, he was an entertainer, level four. That's right. Physical frame, clothing preference, this sim will be able to get others pregnant. Can this sim use the toilet standing? Yes. Okay. I didn't realize all these were in there. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Because there's some sims that are more masculine frame and, and dress femininely in the game, actually. Man, I've been building sims and I didn't even know all this. Oh. Well, I am a terrible Sims instructor, I guess. All right. His sexual orientation. He's into women. Oh, hey. this says he's interested in woohooing with men and women. What? That's the first one that's been diff like. Yeah, I thought these were all like default. <gasps> that's crazy. Hmm. Wait. Unless you already just clicked one. Unless right. they're all. Unless that's the default setting. That's the default setting. We freaked out over nothing. Dang it. Dang. Okay. Then we gotta change that. He's definitely not exploring anymore. Um, I think he's interested in Wukum women also. So, yeah. We have to change all of these. So you can make them where they're romantically attracted to men or women, and then they're not interested in woohooing with either one, so they just don't woohoo? Yeah. Oh. And that's called asexual. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, so let me. I'm sorry. The talking might stop while I type. There's a Pokemon in the chat. Actually, it escaped. So. Never mind. Uh, again, we're having a series of getting excited over nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but I like this guy's. <laughs> I like this guy's sweater. There we go. Okay. And he was. Um, what was the career again? Level four. Entertainer. Entertainer. I thought I already wrote this. Oh no! Aspiration. Inspiration is... I messed up, yeah. Okay. You can see my mouse play is terrible. There we go. Musical genius. Alright. Um, so for his likes and dislikes, let's look at his um, outfit, see what what's up with this guy. Ooh, I like that. That's snazzy. I do like that. Yeah, but it's very brown. Very brown. Okay. Oh, more, more, you know, earth tones, I would say. This guy's, he's not, he doesn't like exciting things. Obviously, he's neat. He likes to clean. Yeah, he's, he's like, um, oh, Major Pain. Yeah, very yeah. confident. You're right. Yeah. Yes, I see that. Okay. Sleeves with no shirt on and sweatpants. All nice. Right. I like the gray sweatpants. All right. Uh, oh, I like these. Got the headphones. I like that. 
And What's that? His party? I guess that's on it. Yeah. Because oh, he's a DJ. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 Cool. yeah. So he shows up ready to work every party. Swimwear. Swimwear. Nice. These dark tones. Yeah, I'm seeing very modern. Um, I think he likes modern decor. Yeah. That shirt. I do too. A good shirt for him. It is. With the with the brown loafers. Yeah, and the orange shorts. That's interesting. That's like his only orange thing. Green. Okay. So. Is his favorite? Can, can anybody's favorite color really be brown? Is that actually a thing? I've never heard of that, but. Hey, brown is. Um, Ooh. Beautiful color. Okay. Huh. It's yeah. uh, natural. Brown. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we have brown and gray, I think. I just went ahead and chose those. I don't know how you feel about that. I mean, gray. If, yeah. If you go through all of his outfits, they I were mean, all brown and gray. He has green there. Yeah. Gray. Green. Gray. Gray. <laughs> gray. Green. So, yeah. yeah well, we could either do... Gray or green? What do you want? I felt like he's very boring. I felt like gray spoke to me in that moment. Yeah. But, I mean, if you think green... No, I like it because not very many people like gray or brown for that matter. Right, so. that's what I was thinking. Sparkle Whose favorite color yeah. is brown <laughs> and gray? Yeah. Who? Dominique. Dominique. All right. The DJ. So, does he hate orange? I mean, he's got those shorts. No, I wouldn't say hates orange, because yeah, he does have those shorts. Okay. I would say probably... Hates yellow. yellow. Yeah. I think he hates yellow and blue, like... I mean, yeah, he's yeah. odd. Yeah. He's odd. He has an odd uh, preference for colors. Yeah. Like, ew, the sky? Gross. <laughs> the sun? Get out of here. <laughs> He'd be a great werewolf. Right. <laughs> okay. Oops. Wrong one. Yeah. Music. There we go. Okay. So he likes DJ booth music, obviously. Obviously. So hey, we've got yeah, that. Do we want to go and like hip hop? I mean, is that boring that he would like both DJ and hip hop, which are the both the same music, basically? But I think we could pick better music. Yeah. What about retro? Yeah. Well, don't disagree with me. What do you think? You were thinking. Well, yeah, I was thinking like, like old school retro, um, like Tupac and Biggie. Oh, okay, like yeah, I yeah, I like that. <sighs> All right, and then dislikes. Probably um, metal because there's no beat. That's true. He probably would, yeah. He probably wouldn't consider it music. Right. Um, we don't want to do the love songs because he f I feel like he's like a soulful guy. Like he's a he's a woman swooer. Right, and a DJ that hates love songs, I mean, isn't going to get a lot of work in right. the wedding business. Well, let's go down a little, a little farther. Uh, I mean, Strange Tunes is very non-music. But if he's a DJ, and he likes old school retro music, there's a lot of like, crazy stuff in those, I don't think, wacky tunes like, or like Strange Tunes. Would. Sound bites and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I see. So let's do... Mm, Singer songwriters because DJs are the real artists now. Right, gotcha. I don't know. Yeah, he doesn't want any of that, um, you know, amateur stuff. He only he only plays the hits. Right, because he's the most boring DJ 
on the planet. Yeah. Okay. So does he like basics? <laughs> <laughs> um, basics and streetwear. Yeah, okay. I like it. Yeah, and then his dislikes would probably... Mm, probably dislike... Uh, country for Wendy sure yeah. and i would say boho because he's he's very modern what is boho boho is like kind of hippie like uh bead curtains and and tassel uh -huh. curtains and you know the pretty much a lot of the stuff that came in the high school pack and then there's a lot of boho in Honestly, they didn't do a lot of great boho in The Sims up until the high school pack. So I don't have a lot of examples to give you because our house isn't boho either at all. But it's very hippie. Toast put, toast put host. What's that got? I don't know. What does that mean? <laughs> what does time, that mean? Every, what does that mean? What, what, what does that mean? What's that mean? <laughs> Just in case anybody misses it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. That that episode of Impractical Jokers, you have to watch it. You have to watch it. Oh, nice. Thanks, bro. Sweet. He's hosting us on his channel. What does that mean? What's that mean? What's that mean? <laughs> that was uh, that was a serious question. Um, I think we're live on his channel. So hey, what's up, everybody? Hi, everybody. And if we're wrong, hi, everybody. <laughs> All right. So okay. he dislikes country fashion, and then and he dislikes boho. Okay. Work. And I haven't written any of this down as we've gone, so I'm just going to have to do that later. Yeah, I'm down with that. Okay. Homework, yay. Homework, what? I'm going to have to do that later while we're not playing. That means it's homework for me. Oh, I'm just thinking homework in The Sims. I was way off. Okay. If someone comes to my channel to see if I'm live, it'll redirect them to your channel. Oh, awesome. Sweet. Thanks, Thanks, Toast. And this video is going to go up on YouTube, so if anybody sees this, go follow Toast because the stream's awesome. And yeah, I mean, he's got a camera. Yeah, you can, you actually, can actually see, see him. him. It's probably way more interesting than what we got going on. I like the way our stream looks, though. Just saying. I like it. Just saying. I like it. Okay, anyways. Um. So, for his hobbies and skills, uh, I forgot we have to choose them. I'm not just telling them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hobbies and skills. He already likes dance. He's already got a skill in dancing. So, do we want to put he likes dancing? Of course, and DJ. Oh. Right? That's a sure that's a thing, right? Yeah, Whoa. DJ mixing. DJ right mixing right there. Okay. Um. He but he, he has the skill of fishing, um, and so does his wife, who loves fishing and gardening. So he he probably will like things that are outdoors, so we don't want to dislike anything like that. Well, maybe we're, we might be wasting a like on him if we make him like um, dancing and DJing. One of them, yes, because it's with the lore, but the other one... Um, Storyline wise, I think that you know him and his wife loving fishing. I think that that would be another attribute to build on top of. I do too, and I think he should like dancing more than DJing. I, I believe, yeah, I believe that too. So yeah, let's do, he likes fishing. Okay. Oh. Um, sure, I say he dislikes gardening. Oh. But I 
there's yeah, that's like in it. Sorry. But oh but she loves gardening. Oh does she? Yeah. Um she her her aspiration is to be a freelance botanist. Oh. An expert gardener. So Okay, so he does like gardening. So should we change are you wanting to change that to gardening or No 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 no. no. Okay. Yeah, I I'll think... say leave it neutral because it's her thing and I think it's something that they could grow together with. Yeah, I agree. So he would like Ooh. maybe mixing drinks since he's a DJ? Or dislike? Oh, we're doing dislikes now. I got <laughs> confused. Oh, he's going to dislike. Um... This is honestly the hardest part is figuring out what they dislike. Yeah, because I always like everything. Um... Probably like since he dislikes uh he dislikes any singer songwriter music. A pipe organ, yeah. Yeah, or piano or guitar. What is the no. I mean cuz in the Sims 4 the the instruments you can use to write songs is piano or guitar. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I didn't know that. Yeah. I'd say piano. Piano. Uh, Dislikes piano uh, okay. and... Oh, was that the only one? We haven't... Okay. We have to pick another one. Yeah. Um, keep going down. Uh, Violin, maybe, but I don't know. We already have one instrument. Oh, I forgot you can write songs on the violin. I forgot about that one. Oh, can you? Yes. Yeah, I feel like that one. That one goes better with piano. Okay. I think that would keep him. <sighs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <space. laughs> He's like, He's like, ah. Freaking violin. Violin sucks. Okay. Decor. I think he's going to love contemporary um, and modern. See that? I think he hates decor, uh, boho decor. Uh. And probably, as far as hating it, I mean, he probably doesn't like any of this stuff. Um, but for hating it, I think probably hates Storybook or Queen Anne. Let's do Storybook. We got a Queen Anne on one of them. Okay. Neat. <laughs> All right, so that's him. That's all of his. And then so, we... Yeah, I think that's it, right? Yeah. So now we do more Moira. 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 I like that. I do too. Was she a freelancer? She Was wants she... to be a freelance botanist. Um, she loves the outdoors, is outgoing, and is good. So oh, she's really good sim, like very, uh, not as far as good as in, great as in storytelling, but good as in just a good character. So, yeah, no. these types aren't as interesting. These are always the types that I play. <laughs> but we're going to give her some stuff that might make her more interesting. Well, let's look at uh, her outfits. Yeah, well... She's an adult. Oh, this is much like, um, what's her face? Uh, Haas. Haas, yeah. He's Haas. And... Yeah. Okay. She's got the, Ooh. she got the mom look. She likes to borrow his shirts to sleep in. That sounds familiar. Okay. I like this outfit. I would say this is more polished or preppy. She wants to look nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Oh, she got a little nose ring in there. Oh, I didn't know that. Look at that. So when it's hot, she puts metal in her face. Interesting. That's All a, right. Hmm. It's a bold, it's a bold strategy, Cotton. Yeah. 
<laughs> Was that her? She got it in still? No, she doesn't. Uh -huh. That's weird. She almost got it on one outfit, though. Yeah. Hmm. It looks good, though. Yeah. It's interesting, for sure. And this outfit is definitely interesting. I like how they chose the shoes to match, too. Uh, it shows that she's got, I think, a little bit of a wild side, and ironically, it's on the one with fire. So right, maybe that's a like maybe that's a tribute to redheads. Right, but she married into that name. No, the the outfit, the oh. hot outfit. She's got the nose ring. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Small little contributions. Right, I thought you were talking about her name being fire. Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't catch that, honestly. <laughs> okay. Um, what else? Oh, her sexual orientation. She's going to be like her husband. Um, they are very much in love. Oops, that's the wrong one. Wait, is that right? No. Bit, yeah, there you go. There we go. Okay. All right, so she's straight like her husband. Colors. Put her back in her, uh, her standard. Let's not forget about that one. That one's different than all the rest of them. Ah. But she's like, so she probably likes green too. Mm-hmm. Um, well, oh. he didn't like green. No, he oh, likes huh. brown and gray. Alpha Maybe we do brown and green for her. Brown and green. She does like gardening. She's very earthy herself. Uh -huh. That's perfect. Uh -huh. They're both very Learn earthy. Yes. Earthy. But, but I think she should hate gray because it's so gloomy. Maybe. She loves one of his colors. She could hate black. Because, I mean, that's like... Black. Yeah. She wears a lot of black. Does she? She wears a lot of darker colors, so I guess she wouldn't hate any darker colors, so. She wears almost every color. That's the problem. Yeah. But I don't see outfits. hardly, I mean, the, the hat is gray. Yeah. What other colors are there? What's some brighter colors that we can pick? That she dislikes? Yeah. Go back to the color. Well, white. I know she was white. Purple. Yeah, it's kind of a dark color. Yeah. It's purple. Slow. And. And then you can pick between. Nausea. Oh, uh, Arpanoi? <laughs> that works for me. Alright. And then music. Music. Probably likes uh, DJ Booth. Oh yeah, because her husband's sure. a DJ, of Teresa course. Pesano. Ooh. And then she probably also I wouldn't say she hates um I bet she actually secretly likes the singer songwriter music. I bet. That's good. <gasps> oh Galimpo <laughs> All right. Um, then, as far as hating it, she could. I mean, I know it's redundant, but she seems like the type of person that would hate metal music. She just does. I mean, that could further the storyline. I mean, because the rockers and the renegades will stand out more. Right, and her daughter is one of them. Yeah, and she's, she has a problem with her hanging out with her renegade friends. Right. That's perfect. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Marcia? And he hates it too, right? Mm, this is yeah, why yeah, I need yeah, to he be... Does. Yeah, this is why I need to be filling that out while I go. But it's okay. Mm. Okay. She's got... She's got soccer mom vibes. She does. Definitely. She drives a Honda Odyssey 112 miles an hour on the interstate to get to soccer <laughs> practice. Running late from 
yoga, and Pilates. Okay, so also hates okay, so tween still... pop because she has a tween. Well, no, she has a teen. I think Morgan's more of a teen than a tween. Which she we kinda... probably doesn't like winter holiday music because she doesn't like winter because that's when all of her plants are dead. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, yes. Uh, uh. All right. He and said, all right, buds, I've got to, got to head to work. I'll holler at you later. All right. Thanks, Thanks for, for hanging work, out. Man. Have a good night. Okay. So. What? She definitely likes outdoorsy oh. fashion. Uh huh. She kind of looks like she likes either preppy or polished. This is outdoorsy, I would say. I don't know. What does that fit into? Um, country? No. I no, still think... I think... I think she would like... Well, she's kind of dressy, so... Oh. Preppy, like what's her dress? Is it preppy or is it polished? I think it's more polished. Uh, yeah, okay, I can see that. Yeah. Polished, and she probably dislikes uh, rocker. Table. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, then she long. probably dislikes Honestly, the only one I Country? think. What are you thinking? I think the only one that would fit is streetwear because she's so open minded. I mean, it's hard. Like, because she has outdoorsy stuff, which fits in the country and, and definitely likes basics. Yeah. She's open minded, but she doesn't like Ooh. the stuff that uh. makes it. Uh, it seems um, like it goes against society. She doesn't like to go against society, but... I see what you're saying, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. And then, <clears throat> what's her favorite activity is gardening. I'll be rowy. <coughs> <laughs> what else would she love? Um, uh, she looks it? like she likes skiing or snowboarding with that snowsuit she's got she, on. She has the fishing skill too. That'd be something that she loved. Did he love fishing? He, I think he does like fishing. Okay, so yeah, maybe, um, yeah. Yeah, we, we said he likes fishing and he was neutral on because she likes fishing. Uh, uh, <laughs> Alright, and dislikes... Young Mad Baby. Video gaming? I feel like we pick that one a lot. For yeah. these moms. Uh, let's do... Let's do bowling. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, let's do bowling. Uh. And uh, handiness. She makes him do all the handiness around the house. That makes sense. Uh, 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 yeah. No, I don't like that. <laughs> hey, can you fix that? <laughs> Mid-century decor, I would say. Yeah. I'll be wrong. Silly. Yibs. Barter and bow. <laughs> I'd say she probably wouldn't like island decor. Because like she wouldn't, like she's, she doesn't like, doesn't want to go to the beach. Like she just wants to be out in nature. 
Like not, I mean, obviously the beach is nature, but like she All likes right. being out around cool plants back. and flowers and, right. and stuff like not, that. Right, not just sand and water. That's yeah. boring. So then she probably likes garden decor. Aww. Oh yeah, I didn't uh -huh. even see that one. Garden of yeah. hay! Dislikes. What are you gonna do, uh, daughter's room? This one? Morgan? Yeah. Uh, honestly, I don't know what, it doesn't really cover that in this section. Like, I don't see any kind of, like, gothic, um, which doesn't make any sense because there's definitely gothic uh, filters in the build by section. Well, there's like a gothic farmhouse and... Maybe she just doesn't like basics. Her? Yeah. Yeah. Spawn a like that. <laughs> so she's done. Done. All right. This girl. She's definitely preppy. I get that immediately from her. I just want to call her so. Siobhan. 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 I like I that. That's a dope name. Yeah. All right. What's her and aspiration? And I hope that I'm saying it. But her aspiration is the lead, to be the leader of the pack. So <clears throat> she wants to create a club. And, and oh, that's perfect for their storyline with her hmm. sister. Yeah. She's going to be like the mean girl out of Mean Girls. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, I like that. Mean girl. And she's ambitious, social, what is that? Networker? She's ambitious. Ambitious, an insider, which means she just loves being cl in clubs and they tend to be happy, happiest when surrounded by their friends. So she's going to have an easy time making friends and she's self-assured like her dad. Hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. And then her outfits. This is her every day, which I like. Pink and preppy. And, yeah, I, like I really it. like that. Oh, this is her formal. Wow. Like That's nice. She likes bright colors? Yeah. Um, another bright color? Yeah. I don't yeah. know why she picked such boring shoes. I guess because she's working out. Oh, same outfit as her, as her mom. That's interesting. Whose shirt are you wearing? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Ooh. Good party outfit. I like the gold and the white. I do too. Oh, More that's yellow. cute. Yeah. yeah, definitely yellow and pink are her favorite colors. Oh, that's cute. I don't know about it. I mean, it doesn't seem like it matches. Like the skirt could have definitely matched the shoes more. Like, why didn't you get like a cheetah or a leopard print light color? I wish that we could fix this. I mean, I really feel like these outfits are so random that, I mean, because we had to fix Mila's hot weather outfit too. Yeah, we should we should fix it. Okay. Oh. Are you gonna <laughs> are you gonna just match the skirt or what? Do you want me to? I think not. All right, I like that. That actually goes better. But the skirts still don't match the shoes. Hold on. We're just gonna fix it. Fix it. Just gonna fix it. Yeah, cause what what is she doing? I mean. Yeah, I don't know. It's what is this? Place. Okay, well, what do we want? Um, we gotta pick one thing and and then we can match it. <laughs> what do we want? Do we like these shoes? Does there? What's the colors on the shoes? <laughs> <laughs> might be able to change the pattern. The pattern is what's... I mean, yeah, but I mean, I want to pick one thing that you like on this outfit and then I can make everything else match it. Do you like the skirt? Do you like the shirt? Or do you I like, like the, the shirt? Sh do you like the shirt? Okay. Let's pick a different skirt because it's like cutting it off. This isn't even from her pack anyway, so I don't feel guilty in changing it. Hot weather. She could wear some cute shorts. Black ones. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, she likes she likes bright colors. What's the hot pink one look like? I like that. And then let me get back in the shoulder. Let's see. That but, works. Yeah. And then I think these shoes do have a hot pink. Or a pink of some sort of... But yeah, white. doesn't really match, yeah. White. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, okay. Let's put these earrings. Because... No. Well, let's see. Some good earrings that go with everything. Oh, these are kind of cool. They're pink. They make you want to cool down. Okay. I like this hot weather outfit. Yeah. All right. This is better. It goes well together. Yes. And the cold weather is... It was fine. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that was pretty cool. I don't know what's up with their hot weather outfits. Maybe it's some sort of glitch. It's Every, not... It's, everything's just a glitch with you. Well, I'm not... I'm just saying that, I mean, all the rest of the outfits are fine. And it's just that one on every sim that looks <laughs> dumb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's... Okay, we got so... Left? Colors or... Uh, mm -hmm. what do we likes and dislikes. Yeah. She definitely likes pink and orange. Yep. <laughs> And she hates black, Ooh, hates black. and gray. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Because I'm, I'm sure that's probably going to be more what her sister's into. Right. So. And her dad likes gray. It's really hard to try to think from so many people's points of view of like what they would like and dislike and. Right. It is. Like I had a hard time making like. Oh, so I downloaded the Stranger Things into a save one time and just add them to the household. And I was like, oh, I'll play all the Stranger Things kids. That'd be great. It was the worst thing trying to keep up. What was it? Six Sims or something like that? I, had I think it was eight. Was it eight? Oh, my goodness. It was terrible. So, yeah. And not knowing how to play the game didn't help. So. <laughs> right. So I just left them alone. I just went and took other sims and played them somewhere else and let them do their thing so <laughs> i don't even know what they're doing i don't blame you eight sims is a lot at one time it that's is. why we're gonna have a hard time with this whole save all right okay that is insane okay so <laughs> what what is insane nothing what i was thinking about the stranger things putting them in the uh, Doing a playthrough with them and trying to do their uh, their storylines. Oh well, you already did that. ADHD. Okay. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so she likes pop music, I think. Yeah, pop music and and don't forget, she's a young adult, so probably likes hip hop music. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> and then she hates... Uh, metal. Hates metal? Yeah. yeah. She hates metal oh and... Probably old-fashioned music. Is there old-fashioned music in there? I mean, you got classical... Cottage core, easy listening. Maybe retro. Retro, yeah. Because her dad. And, yeah. Yeah. Oof, neeb. Okay, I like it. That's all of those. And then the fashion. She's preppy. Ah, full yeah. sure. And polished. <laughs> Probably dislikes rocker fashion. Uh, yeah. Dislikes rocker uh, and street fashion. Go, or hipster. Hipster, yeah. Sabrina? Yeah. <sighs> Who likes hipster? God. <laughs> That's right. what she would say. That's exactly what she would say. <laughs> um, Hobbies. so, yes. 
Wait, what does she want to do again? She just likes socializing. Yeah, so who else did we do that liked bowling? There was someone else that did bowling? Does her, did her oh, sister Oh, it, like it was her sister's friend that likes bowling. Are we going to have like a bowling brawl? I don't know what that is. What does that either. mean? You mean know. like they fight at the like bowling clubs, alley? Like their clubs bowl? Can they do tournaments and anything? I don't know. I don't know how in-depth the bowling pack is. Hmm. And it's its own separate pack. Um, it's a stuff pack. So I know that you can use the get-together clubs um, from this pack to uh, use uh, their bowling activity in those clubs and make a bowling club. Um, but I don't know if you can just make an official bowling team or not. Okay. Well, maybe we should, maybe we should look it up. Well, we'll have to look it up after the stream and see, because we're still creating, we haven't even started the storylines for them. Right. Um, but I do think that mixology would be good for her because she's preppy, she's an insider, she's self-assured, she likes uh, attention. Obviously. Yeah, and so, socializing. Yeah, so I, I like think that. mixology would be good. Yeah. And then. Bossy. <laughs> um. How many likes does she have already? Two. Oh, she one. Only one. Okay. Um. What could keep going? There. Maybe there dancing. Be... Yeah. A good one. Yeah, and her dad likes dancing, so that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Dopes <laughs> Dislikes fishing, I bet. Dislikes fishing. Huh? Oh, because she doesn't get along with her stepmom. Ugh. Okay, uh, and gardening. Yeah, that's yeah. Just really drive at home that she doesn't like her mom. Okay. So for her decor, I see. Um, a lot of basics for her, actually, and probably a little bit of modern. And then she is going to hate Island for sure. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to change modern to boho. Um, she's very preppy. I think boho fits more than modern. So, actually, I would say she probably hates, uh, garden decor. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so she's done. So oh, did we do her, we didn't do her sexual orientation. No, we did not. She's not romantically attracted to... Well, she, that's how it is, um, default. Let's so... Do... To... What if we do um, romantically attracted to men um, and is exploring and she's interested in woohoo with both? Okay, yeah. Do you think that fits her character? I mean, she's yeah, I a party so. girl. Yeah, I would say so, yeah. Yeah. And then we'll do Morgan. I think we should do her as the same sexual orientation. That way they're like competing. Okay. So romantically attracted to men, exploring and interested in men and women. Woohoo. Woohoo. And she's a teen, so she's only got two traits. She's outgoing and good. Oh, she's good. That's interesting. Kind of saw her as not good. Hmm. She's kind of like Bella Goth of yeah. Windenburg. Interesting. Okay. So her outfit's very rocker. I like those boots. But very then we have some. Yeah. Okay. We have a polished look here. 40. 40. Ooh, I like it. Actually has a nightgown. Ooh. Looks like Tomb Raider. Alright. That's cool. 
cool. I like that. I like that too. So she likes red. Yeah, definitely. Cool things in red. What is that? Oh. Luckily, it's a hot weather outfit and we can change it. Oh, actually, this one. Oh no, it caught my eye, but no, it's not good. Hmm. What is that? Though, actually, I mean. I don't know. Wow. It's this... a long shirt. <laughs> Let's see. Let find something t shirts now. Hey. Here we go. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> I was about to say, what is on that shirt, though? Is it too flashy for her, do you think? No, she's not, like, super... Uh, she's not, like, super gothic or emo or anything, right? Right. She's just, like... What are the rest of her outfits? Mm -hmm. Alright, I, I had that stuck in my head. That was my problem. But she does like black. She does like black and black. Black and red. Yeah. But I still think maybe. Well, is that the outfit she's wearing in her party? Yeah, that is. I don't think she's that shirt. Um, let's see. Is coming anything good? This is kind of cute. It is. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. That fits her. I was gonna say, I thought the other one might be too revealing for like the way she tries to present herself, but honestly, I think it looks really good. Yeah, I don't think so. Cause I think it was just the shirt. The shirt didn't go with like yeah. the personality that I right. see her having. Yeah. What, about them, what about them blue... Uh, I mean, they mat the, the shirt has a little blue in it, and I feel like she would wear Converse, but... Why don't we change the color of the Converse? We can. Let's see what colors hmm. they are. There's red. And black. Probably black, yeah. Yeah. Do we want to give her some socks? Oh. Ain't no socks. Don't wear socks in hot weather. Yeah, but you do though, because your feet get all sweaty if you don't. Wear some red socks, maybe. Black socks look good. Like, I think the black socks look better, probably. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, I'm having a hard time seeing over the mic, but I think so. Hmm. Okay. And then her cold weather. She's pretty... Yeah, that's good. I, I like that for her. It fits her. It's yeah. darker colors. It's not like dressed up -y. Right. She's just comfy. Comfy. Comfy in the cold. Okay. So her favorite colors are black and red. Yeah. Huh. yeah and then she doesn't yeah. like... What was? What did her huh. sister like? <laughs> Pink and orange. She probably dislikes... Pink. Yeah. And brown. Yeah, that could go. That could go against. Uh, yeah, because she wants differences between her and her mother. Yeah. All right. Then, Music. She definitely likes metal. Yes, and I was gonna say alternative. I thought maybe classical. <laughs> But it's not so closely related. The alternative is, is a good one too. Or GGS, maybe to spice it up? Nah. What's your aspiration? Party animal? I think she likes alternative, but. I could do alternative. Or DJ booth, or hip hop, or any of them really. Any of them that are, you know, pop? party. Oh, maybe pop. Pop might work, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Shyvin. <laughs> and then we gotta do the dislikes. Dang it. Yeah, I hate those. Uh, she's gonna dislike easy listening. I 
mean, that's yeah. not. <sighs> what about holiday music? Uh huh. Yeah. Like she should have something in common with her mom. Right. Fashion. Rocker. Definitely. Ooh. And polished. Yeah. Just like her best friend, uh, Miss <laughs> Boss. Yep. I didn't think of that. Yeah. I like it. And um, so she hates preppy. And outdoorsy. And outdoorsy. Oh, uh, or should we make her hate hipster like her sister? Or do they have nothing in common? No, they got some other stuff in common. But. Well, I just meant should they not? They got polished in common, don't they? Hmm. Yeah. I guess they do. Okay. That would just further her relationship from her mother. The renegades. Yeah, definitely. For activities, Maybe they all like dancing. She likes bowling, like her friend. Yeah. Huh. I think yeah, I dancing. She's a party I'm animal. A boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. Just likes. Huh. <laughs> Morph. Maybe photography? Maybe she's like, photo, like, she's like I'll take my picture. I don't know. Mm -hmm. be, she's like, we've, we've all met that, that, that awkward picture taker. We're like, no, you're not taking my picture. Yeah, I am that person. See? Okay, yeah, I like that. Oh. So we haven't oh, used that oh. one. We might as well use it. Minus well. Minus well. She doesn't like research and debate because no one does. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Uh. Okay. Um, this is hard because, the, like I said, they don't really have these. But I'm gonna go with modern huh. and contemporary. Huh. And I think that should. Uh, Banu. Ah. And Kulosa. then she's gonna. Dislike. Um, she's gonna dislike boho. Buddy. Yeah. Hey, hey, nobody is gonna like mom's garden decor. Right. Nobody. That's why I want to hang out with the renegades because the house is garden decor. <laughs> Yeah, she's gonna have to pick a new place to have her her um, clubhouse. So this one is yeah, awesome. Yep. Now I just have to put everything else into our spreadsheet so we can read all of this and think of some good storylines. Um, so. We can look at these clubs and see because she wants to be the leader of the pack, which she is. Ah, I was hoping it would be like this person who's not the leader of his club. Oh yeah. Because this guy is. What's this club? Spin Master or the Good Timers? Yeah. Oh so look. Bjorn Bjergsen is the president of this club. And if it was his aspiration to be the leader of the pack, we would have to try to take it over, which I don't honestly know how to do. But, uh, Mila's in there. See that? Mila? Mila. Yeah, why do I keep saying Mila? I don't know. Oh, Mila, all, also all the older people. Um, okay. Cool. Interesting. So this is going to be a fun map to play. Yeah, it is. This probably will not be one of the first maps we play. Well, it just depends on... I mean, I'm, I'm super you. excited about it, but I feel with the complexity of the map, we probably shouldn't do the biggest one first. I mean, unless, you know, you want to try it well, out. Well, there's no way to really tell who we do first. We have to do everybody at the same time. We can't just oh, avoid people because they get lost. So 
But really, it's not gonna be like it's gonna be the same. Playing every single sim, so choosing a map. Well, I'm saying we're gonna play one fit. Like when we start, we're gonna do an hour, right? Well, family. no, we're not gonna do an hour with that family. We're gonna do an hour of playing, but we'll probably have to switch families several times. Make sure we keep everything straight. This is definitely gonna be an adventure. Definitely. I mean, I've talked to people who play. Um, rotating households and they say they can go about every few sim days depending on how many households they have. If they have a lot they have to go more often around everybody. Mm. That's crazy. Yeah. That's why I always only play my one sim one household games. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually I think this is a good time to uh in the stream. In the stream, yeah. Yeah, this was fun. So we got one more household done. We'll save that because the last time I exited the game, I didn't save. All right. So we will, well, we don't really have a schedule, but the next time we're on is the next time we'll see you. So. And all these videos are going to be uploaded, so if you catch it on the Twitch, um, we will have these uploaded on YouTube at Falcon Sims. And we're going to do more content, we're going to do more stuff that's not just these live streams. I'm putting together videos of playthroughs that we've done, speed builds. Uh, really we just want to put out content, mainly because it's fun, it's something that we can do together. and. Also to entertain you guys and hopefully build a community that likes to do the same thing we do. Just be happy, live life. Yeah. All right, and so we will see y'all next time. Bye. Bye. Young Mad Baby. Tripping on a cliff on an ocean, I want trips from coast to coast And I know wishful thinking is wishful, learn quick when feds release pitbulls No kink in the land, hoes and people with full water pressure that's lethal